you guys going back to another video and today we're going to be covering the stim shot glitch that everyone hates and glitchers love in warzone so as you guys know activision and warzone are in shambles right now now if you guys are kind of lost in the community and you guys don't know what that i'm talking about is what do you mean warzone's in shambles right now what i'm saying is that we got the dmr and type 63 running rampant around warzone two to three shotting people from literally 100 meters away we got the pay to win mac 10 which is tier 95 which is basically the pre-nerfed mac 10 in a blueprint so if you have that blueprint go ahead and chuck it on right now you'll get additional damage and it will be just like the og mac 10 you got skill based matchmaking and reverse boost is running rampant in warzone right now dropping world record gameplays like aiden where they get in bronze lobbies off of literally reverse boosting and get 60 kills and be all proud and stuff we got the invisibility glitch which is where they, you can damage them unlike the last invisibility glitch but you can't see them you got the infinite cluster strike glitch which is basically where you get a bunch of cluster strikes and you could just call them in call them in call them in and kill a bunch of people using those freaking rockets and then finally you know the thing that we're covering today is we got the stim shot glitch now a majority of people have ran into this glitch before as i said in the gameplay you'll see it later on swag has ran into this wait wait so wait is the game ever gonna end is the game gonna end it will yeah no 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 because they're, they're two separate teams Wait, who, doing it? Who's that what a meathead, bro. So as you guys could see, Swag ran into this problem, and there were two people doing it. Two different teams of people doing it. That's how you know how easy this is. Now I am gonna show you guys how to do it in the video. I know I'm like I'm literally telling you guys how to do something that I'm against. And you guys could go find it. But I mean everyone else has made YouTube videos on it, and you guys are already on this one, so I might as well just go ahead and tell you guys it's not gonna change anytime soon. Everyone's gonna freaking be doing it. Now if you guys could please drop a like and smash that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications and share this with a buddy to show them how easy this is in Warzone. That would be greatly appreciated. I'm trying to grow my channel, and right now there's literally little to nothing to cover in Warzone. It's DMR zone right now. If you're not using the DMR as your main gun, you're basically like kind of down below. So I'm trying my hardest. I tried to get gameplays, guys. I tried to get three gameplays. I had three gameplays that were actually really good that were ruined. Two stim shotters, and like I just I just can't anymore, man. Like so dumb. Even K3 got his match ruined, and Ra Ra did a video on it where a random guy got his match ruined to the stim shot glitch so yeah guys please just help me out show this with buddy show them how easy it is now activision you guys literally i don't recommend that you guys ban me i know that you guys don't ban a lot of people for doing glitches in warzone there's hackers running around but out there i think you guys should focus on that more right now because that's even worse than this but my point is activision is don't waste your time banning me or other people doing this stim shot glitch and spend more time fixing it because me personally i don't know about everyone else but I'm doing a video on this to show you guys how easy the glitch is to do and how you guys need to fix it. So this is for educational purposes only for developers in the future and for yourself. I think you and Raven Software have the your heart in the good place. You guys wanted to nerf the DMR, you guys wanted to nerf the Mac-10, make the game balanced again. But you guys need to do a little bit more and we respect that you guys are trying but we're on the final stretch here guys. You guys are literally have such a great game going. You guys just need to go ahead and fix it and it will be back to its glory but yeah guys uh, i'm gonna play the gameplay here i'm sorry for this video being so short i just wanted to show you guys how easy this is and how to do it so i will show you guys how to do it in the gameplay right now so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take a grenade in your loadout and you're gonna take a stim shot now you're gonna go to the edge of the zone in this rebirth what i did is i just dropped it on a helicopter i floated up in the air and then after that then i just waited for the loadout i went to go get my loadout went to the edge of the zone and then i threw the grenade at the wall this is how you do the glitch you throw the grenade at the wall you pick back up the grenade after that then you as you're holding the grenade so you're gonna keep holding down your r1 or r2 whichever one you use i use r2 you're gonna keep on holding the grenade with r2 or r1 you're gonna press down on the d-pad you're gonna hold down on the d-pad and you're gonna drop your weapon you don't even need to drop both just drop one singular weapon now you can let go of your r2 or r1 button and you will have infinite stims and you could just glitch away go ahead go get that win I don't, I don't even know what to say anymore but yeah guys i hope you guys enjoy this video and this educational video so i'll see you guys all in the next video enjoy this stupid gameplay
Friendly loadout drop on the way. Enemy UAV overhead. I'll take this to The guy that I was pointing the helicopter is doing the exact same thing or not. Final deployment is loaded up. Finish the fight. Okay, the gas is bound. Safe zone relocated. <coughs> Nine targets remain standing. Sort them out. Look how far out I am. <coughs> so dumb. So trap right now. We got the DMR. Four shots. If you have bad aim, they usually four shots and two shots though. You got the pay to win back ten, which I have. I dropped it out there, but you got the pay to win back ten, which basically is pre nerf back ten before they nerfed it. Then you got the invisibility glitch, where people can be invisible. You could damage them, unlike the last invisibility glitch, but they're invisible. Is my point. You got this infinite gym glitch right now that I'm doing. So there's that. And then you got, got the cluster strike glitch. The cluster strike glitch is where you can get like a bunch of cluster strikes, duplicate them, and use them. So let's see how many glitches that. We got the invisibility glitch. We got the stim glitch. We got the freaking cluster strike glitch. All in the same game, all at once. So that's three glitches that are super OP, all at once. And then if you combine the freaking pre patch NAC 10, it doesn't count as a glitch, but still, that's literally another one. And then if you count another cancer thing, then we also got the D3 and the DMR, which is finally the fifth. So we got five bad things in the game, all at once. So I might take a break from Warzone, honestly, because why would I try and go get a 20 to 30 kill gameplay while this glitch is going on and a visibility glitch is going on and a little Timmy that was trying to get his first win is just doing this all game. I'm showing this to you guys, and I'm showing this to Activision, so that, that way, this is literally for educational purposes only, so by Activision, don't you dare try to ban me, because I'm trying to help you guys out by showing you guys how easy this glitch is, and what you guys can do to fix it. I know that you guys fixed the last stim glitch by making the restock time a little bit longer, so that, that way the gas can kill someone if it tries to restock. So that was a fair balance. What I think you guys should do in this situation is just make it where completely stim shots do not heal you in the storm at all. Now a lot of people are gonna come up and be like, oh, but I use stim shots just in case I get caught in the storm. No, you, like you should be able to use stim shots anywhere else, but in the storm. That's just my personal opinion. That's just how I think it feels. Or if you do use a stim shot, it shouldn't heal you all the way back up to max. But even then, this glitch is still gonna work. Why? Because look at this. I just think that an easy fix for this would be to one, obviously fix it because this isn't just used with stims. These knives only could literally do this glitch with stuns and he would have infinite stuns for the whole game. So if you have crazy stunners want to go protest and show this, go ahead. It works the exact same way with stuns that I'm just using with stim. It also works the same with smoke grenades and snapshot grenades. So yeah. But my point is Activision is that I'm showing this to you just so that you guys could see how easy it is because a little Timmy has been in my Warzone matches non-stop getting a free win just by doing this glitch. Swag has experienced it, the Korean Savage has experienced it, I've experienced it three times in a complete row. Rara made a video on it where someone that was supposed to win lost because of this. This has just gotten so out of control that Swag, when he died, there were two people doing it in one game. So the game could have went on forever until the server initially shut down. So my point is Activision is you guys need to work on this with Raven fast because you're going to be losing a lot of people that want to play your game and customers and they're going to all go to Cold War and they're just going to chill there or they're just not even going to play in general. You guys have a great game going. It's an amazing game. I freaking love it. I play it 
non-stop now. I didn't before, but I do now because of all the new meta changes. But I think that you guys need to fix all the stuff. You guys need to fix that pay-to-win blueprint, and that's coming from someone who actually has the blueprint. You need to fix the pay-to-win blueprint. You need to fix and nerf the DMR in 1063 so other guns can be meta. You need to fix this stim glitch. You need to fix the overall glitch so that people don't run around with infinite stuns either. And you need to fix that invisibility glitch. I don't know how you guys are gonna do it. That's a lot of glitches to handle. But don't you guys want to get paid? I know that that's what a majority of you guys in that company care about, just getting paid. So, just fix it. We got a lot more customers. There's literally two teams left. It's a duo and me. They're, they're probably like, what the hell right now? Like, these guys are literally just... Like, I feel so bad for these guys. Like, actually. But, I mean, fair game, right? It's a glitch in the game, so we're going to use it, right, Activision? So, like, no one, no one has remorse for doing this, Activision. No one has remorse for doing this. I feel bad for these guys, because this is a well-deserved win. They fought their way through it. But I, you guys, Activision, you guys just need to do this, man. Final circle. This is it. This is where they die. It's just gonna close in all the way. And I'm gonna be alive because I have what? Stim. Unless they know how to do the stim glitch, in which case, they're smart for keeping stims in their back pocket because it's literally as simple as you throw a grenade at the wall. As I show them, I'm gonna show it to you right now. Throw a grenade at the wall, you pick it back up. At the same time as you're holding the grenade, you drop your weapon, not even both weapons, just one of the weapons. And then after that, then you can infinite stim. You don't even need to put as in much effort as the specialist did. With the specialist, at least you would have to do an easter egg. With this, you could do it anywhere you want, and I think that that's what makes it so bad. With the specialist time, you know, at least it was something. Alright, circle's closing in all the way. They should be dying in about 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1... Give it a little bit more because they might have self revives. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You guys need to fix that Activision. I literally just got a free win. Well, Warzone's in shambles. You guys better get on it, Raven and Activision, because I literally just got a free win off doing nothing but stim shotting in the storm. Thank you guys for watching this video and hearing my explanation out. I know this is a short video, a really short video, but I just need to prove a point to all of you guys on why you guys might not be winning, and you guys need to go protest against Activision. Another thing is that skill-based matchmaking is going rampant right now, and reverse boosting is, so six glitches all in one game. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, guys.